And welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana. I make curly hair content, beauty content, makeup, vlogs, all kinds of stuff. I'm at a loss of words today, so be warned that's this whole video. I want to show you guys this New Year's Eve makeup that I kind of was just messing around and stumbled upon. And I really liked how it looked, so I wanted to film it and give it back out. It's great for almond eyes and pretty large, big round eyes, I think, as well as well as brown eyes. I think that it has a little bit of green, a little bit of gold in it, and it just, it reflects really, really pretty with brown and hazel eyes. So if you guys are interested and like how this makeup looks, stay tuned because that's what this entire video is about. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. If I'm a little bit more quiet in this video than usual, I have not been feeling well for the past few days, so I'm just very tired, but I really wanted to play with some makeup, so. We're gonna do this today and don't mind my eye my dog i don't know if you guys can see um my dog he's a puppy and he decided to jump on my face last night so he's like 50 pounds and his claw went straight into my eye hurt really bad um but it looks like it's just bruised it's not actually a good like a real scratch First off, I'm going to prep my skin with the Pore Diffusing Primer by Rare Beauty and focus this mainly kind of in my T-zone. A little on my cheeks left over. This feels so nice on my skin. Next up, I'm going to take just a little bit of the Glossier Future Dew Serum. I think that it's really good at adding a little bit of shine and glow under my skin. Under my, I mean, <laughs> under my foundation. What am I trying to say? I told you guys, I got sick brain right now. I don't even know what I was really sick with. I guess it was just like a little stomach bug that went around because it didn't last long i'm just really tired now all right gonna let that dry down while i talk about the foundation i'm about to use it is the nars light reflecting foundation in m1 and this is actually the foundation i was recommended whenever i have to do my own makeup for shoots if you guys don't know my other job is modeling and I, I don't know why I said it that way, modeling. Anyways, it's modeling and sometimes I have to do my makeup for my shoots. And so I was asking around just because I really wasn't sure. Oh, that just went all the way across my hand. <laughs> um, what foundation to use. I had asked some of my girlfriends in the industry, you know, what do you guys use? And quite a bit of them swear by this stuff. And so I picked it up and I started using it for my shoots. And I gotta say, I absolutely love it. So first off, I just apply it with my fingers. That way I can control how much is going on my face. And I also think that I'm kind of melting it into my skin in a way. <laughs> so I love using my fingers to blend everything in. I really won't put too much product on my forehead just because I've said this in past videos, but I think my forehead builds product the easiest and I think it just shows texture the easiest. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and kind of just push the rest into my face and I just did this makeup look like 10 minutes before doing this video just to practice it so I'm really hoping that it turns out as good as it did because for some reason every single time that I turn on my camera I mess up. I don't know if I like start overthinking what I'm doing or what. Alright I'm gonna take the Kosas Revealer Concealer in shade 03W and I'm just going to add a little bit here and there. I'm gonna go ahead and try and cover up this little scratch that Sailor gave me. I'm going in with my Milk Makeup Bronzer in Blaze. It kind of looks disgusting, but I do. It's like my favorite bronzer, so. So I'm taking my Hourglass Foundation Brush and I'm just going to blend this up. Always blend your bronzer, contour, whatever it is, up. And I'm going to kind of drag it onto my eyebrow bone a little. For the first time, I'm actually starting to really love doing more expressive makeup, which is really fun because in the past, whenever I do expressive makeup, it just doesn't really feel like me. Anytime I do anything too colorful on my eyes, I could just feel like it's not me anymore. But I don't feel that way recently. I think that it's been very, very fun. I've been having so much fun with it. Well, if I can find it. Today's question of the day. Where did Kiana put, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where did Kiana put her setting powder? So, just gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's like the flawless finishing powder. I usually use a dry beauty blender and since mine is wet today, we're gonna see if this works. 
it's nearly rose by rare beauty i'm taking that same brush i just did my contour in and i'm just going to add a little bit of warmth to the face and blend it in i used to do all of my makeup with my beauty blender and then i realized that my beauty blender was picking up so much freaking product and now that i've started using brushes i still use basically one or two brushes for my entire face like I would a beauty blender, but I, I don't know, I like the look of it better. I've also realized that the, quite a few products that I would use a beauty blender with, I think they're just too dense or something because they were causing my makeup to get really, really splotchy and I didn't like how it looked. So, and I am gonna go in with my physician, Physicians Formula palette, their butter collection, and there's a color called Apricot and I like it quite a bit just to mat down some of my blush. This base is looking really, really nice today. <laughs> we love when that happens. All right, so now the terrifying part is where I'm gonna try and re recreate the makeup. Y'all, I can't speak today. I'm gonna try and recreate the makeup that I did 10 minutes before I started this video. We're going to use the Morphe 2 palette with Maddie Ziegler. I think it's called Changement. Yeah, Changement. We're gonna use this color Moss right here. And so we're gonna go ever so lightly. That is what's key, I've realized, is ever so lightly. You can always build color, but it's really hard to take it away once it's on. So um, if you're someone who's intimidated by eyeshadow, it's okay. I am too. We gotta play with it. That's what's fun. Like you gotta, if you want, if you want to, if you wanna use, wanna get a lot better at eyeshadow. So first off, we're gonna go in very, very lightly and just start building a little bit of color. And I have fairly large eyes. So I have like almond shaped, almond round eyes is kind of what I call it. And so sometimes the makeup that I've started doing actually makes my eyes look smaller. And I kind of like how it looks because I am so used to having pretty large eyes. I am going to just go right up to where my crease is and then I'm stopping. I'm not gonna go above that. I don't need to get, you know, onto my brow point. You guys, I'm gonna fight myself. Can I speak? And I'm not going above the crease because I really don't want to blend too far up. I'm doing the tiniest little wing here, kind of keeping the shadow up and out. I do the tiniest little circle movements, kind of like this. <laughs> and yeah, just adding a very, very basic wash of color. If you guys have any suggestions about eyeshadow, please leave them down in the comments because I am new to eyeshadow. And so... This is very, very fun to me, but if you guys have any tips that it's gonna make my life 10 times easier, or you realize something that I'm doing terribly wrong, let me know, because I would love to hear <laughs> if there's something I'm doing wrong. So I kind of have like a little wing going. I will say, trust the process. I always love to clean up, so if I do get a little too messy, I will just clean it up, because it's so easy just to cut a shape out, rather than be extremely precise straight on. So next up, I'm going to take this tinier side of a brush, and I'm gonna take that same green moss, and I'm just gonna line it underneath my eye. I am following this waterline down here and I'm gonna just try and follow it straight up, which is why I ended up getting an angled brush. This is the Morphe M16 angled brush. And I love it so much because I can just take black eyeshadow or brown eyeshadow, whatever one that I'm wanting to use. And I kind of just stamp and map out and it makes it way less intimidating than a liquid eyeliner. And even if I wanna go in with a liquid eyeliner afterwards, I know exactly where it's going to go because I already have it mapped out. Plus eyeshadow to me is so much easier to clean up and you know start over than an entire black eyeliner because <laughs> they'll they'll stay down i'm gonna go in with my black shadow right here in twilight I'm going to first just kind of darken up right here but this is one of the ways that i've noticed that i can make my eyes kind of appear a little bit smaller and almost contour the shape of what my eye looks like very very light-handed and we're allowing mistakes okay we're just going to follow this waterline very, very lightly. So I stamped it and now I'm just kind of attaching it, adding slowly. I actually put it a little bit at an angle I didn't like, so I'm going to just try and correct it. Now that I have that down, I'm going to go back with my little brush and kind of smoke it out just a little. Like so. And still. I know, she looks crazy, but I'm gonna take a Q-tip with some water on it and I'm just gonna clean her up. I'm trying to debate if I actually wanna go in with a liquid liner right now. And I'm very tempted to just stay away from liquid eyeliner, so I think I'm going to. Just coming in and cleaning up. If 
I did something wrong. I'm just gonna go back in and blend it out a little. It's just trial and error and that's what's so fun about it. You have an infinite amount of chances to mess up, which means you learn more. Because fun fact, I've actually filmed this video twice before this and both times my makeup just for some reason didn't want to turn out how I wanted it to. So I just started over, redid it, and now it's turning out exactly how I wanted. So next up I'm going to actually change palettes. I'm going to go in with this Bare Necessities ColourPop and I'm going to add in this color called Genie and I'm going to take that and kind of put it right at the inner corner to slightly on the base. And I have noticed with this ColourPop palette that for some reason a lot of colors don't or a lot of the glitters don't like any of my brushes so my finger works best. Next though, I'm gonna go in with their color Idle Hour, which is another really, really pretty shimmer. And I'm gonna add that just to the very inner corner of my eye. So, I love it, I think she's so pretty. Can we do this on my other eye? <laughs> That's the real question. All right, so I'm also going to go in and take my Lancome eye pencil in black, and I'm just going to go on my waterline as well, make sure that all of this is very, very dark, very black. Ooh. I'm also gonna just try and up top as well. Ooh, boinkers. I am going to go ahead and do this eye as well, and then I will come back and I'll put mascara on and I'll finish with a lip and do my eyebrows. And then I'm just going to take the Anastasia mascara. Eyebrows, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. Freaking love this stuff to death. Running my spoolie throat. So I am just going to go in with the, I want to do a nude lip. So uh, NYX Retractable Lip Liner. This is in their Natural. I think that's how you say it. Soch Beauty um, Lip, Ceramide Lip Silk. And I'm just going to kind of go very lightly. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'm debating between this look and one other look for New Year's. So I will probably post another video of the other look that I'm looking at doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit that subscribe button if you guys are interested in more makeup videos or curly hair videos or vlog content. Yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. Yeah,